We just got in the brand new Poly Voyager 5200 Bluetooth headset. Let's see what it's all about right now. The Poly Voyager 5200UC is the most popular over the ear Bluetooth headset on the market. And they've just come out with a new release that's updated it just a bit. So we're gonna see what is new with this headset. So let's open up the box here. So the case looks pretty much the same. It does now include a USB-A to USB-C converter. You have two additional wearing styles. So you're gonna have small, medium, that's already connected and large. And then you have a USB-A to micro USB cable and some instructions. Of course, we're gonna recycle that box and we're gonna recycle those instructions. So looking at the headset here, it looks identical. It has a nice poly logo on the side of the headset here. And the one major update they made is actually including this new Bluetooth adapter called the BT700 that fits in this charging case. They've remolded this charging case to allow the storage of the BT700 USB adapter. Now, later on in this video, we're gonna do a full microphone test so we can see if the performance of this USB adapter is any better. The Poly Voyager 5200 UC is one of the most popular Bluetooth wireless headsets on the market. And now they've actually done a revision to this headset, which the biggest revision they've done is included a Bluetooth USB adapter called the BT700. This is a new and improved USB adapter. So when you're connecting this to your computers, you're gonna have a more stable connection. You're gonna have longer wireless range and your sound quality is going to be better. And of course, we're gonna test out the noise canceling microphone later on this video. So stay tuned for that. What comes inside the box are three earbuds, small, medium, and large to find the right size for your ears, plus the headset and the charging case, which stores the new BT700 USB adapter inside the charging case, as well as keep the headset protected. You also have the USB-A to USB-C converter. So in case you need to charge your headset in a USB-C computer, you can now do that. Plus you have the micro USB to USB-A cable to charge the headset or charging cradle. One thing I noticed is that they now brand the headset with poly on the case, on the headset and the USB adapter, where the previous version was released under the brand Plantronics, but it merged with the company called Polycom to create a new company name called Poly. So now all the brand is consistent. The Poly 5200UC connects up to your laptops and computers with the included new BT700 USB adapter, and it also simultaneously pairs up to your mobile phones, your Androids, and also your iOS devices. The reason I think this headset is so popular is because of the unique design that they came out with. It weighs 0.7 ounces, which is less than a 16th of a pound. So it's extremely lightweight. But on top of that, the battery is actually located on the back side of your ear. So it has a great balance to the headset and you don't really feel the weight of the headset. So you can wear this headset for a full working day. And it's extremely small, low profile, allows you to wear the headset while driving driving, in meetings, while you're on the go or in the field without feeling like you're wearing a space helmet style headset. Now, one of the downsides to small lightweight headsets is the battery life. The 5200 is rated at seven hours of talk time, but of course, over time will diminish down six hours or five hours, but it comes with the charging case included, which gives you two full charges. So seven hours will give you actually 14 additional hours for a total of 21 hours of talk time, which is going to be plenty of talk time. Even after years of owning this headset, you're gonna be able to go through a full working day as long as you use the charging case to recharge the headset over a little time or you plug in your headset during breaks in order to keep your battery life going. Setting up the headset is extremely easy. It comes prepared with the USB adapter, so plug it into the computer, turn on the headset, and you're good to go. And pairing it up to your mobile phone is as simple as turning on the headset, 
clicking and holding the call control button for about three to five seconds. Then you'll see on your Bluetooth settings on your phone, the Voyager 5200, and it's that easy to connect up the headset to both your computer and your mobile phone. To use the headset with voice commands is extremely easy. With Siri, you'll press and hold the call control button for about a second, then you'll hear the Siri sound, and then you can say, call somebody in order to make that voice command, and it picks up your voice extremely well on this headset. You have five buttons on the headset, your mute button, your call control button, which is also your voice commands, you have your volume up, volume down, and your on switch on or off. You also have a micro USB port on the bottom of the headset, as well as charging pins on the back, and that's for putting the headset in the charging cradle or carrying case. So you'll be able to charge your headset simply by placing it on the charging case, which also really nice because it has an awesome place to store your headset and it looks cool too. Now with the BT700 USB adapter, you have the HD audio mode. So you're able to listen at a higher quality. And a downside to a lot of earbuds and Bluetooth headsets in general is your volume is not loud enough. So if you're driving and you have a lot of wind noise, it's hard to hear people. But with the Voyager 5200, the volume actually gets surprisingly loud. There's a balance that they have to do in order to give you volume, but also maintain a good battery life. So with the 5200, the volume is there in order to be able to hear those conversations, but listening to music is not overly a good experience. You're missing bass and just doesn't give you the enjoyment of other, you know, earbud style headsets or even the over the ear headsets. But considering this is extremely small, lightweight headset, the volume level is good for phone calls and meetings. Now this is what it sounds like on the headset in a quiet environment. And we're gonna play some audio through the PolySync 20 speakerphone, which is a great speakerphone, by the way, to see how well this headset performs at canceling out background noises. This is office noises through the camera mic. Switching to the Poly headset, this is what it sounds like with office noises going on in the background. This is dogs barking in the camera mic. Switching to the Poly headset, this is what it sounds like with barking dogs. If you're working from home and have dogs, this is what it's gonna sound like. This is crying babies on the camera mic. Switching to the headset here. If you have a newborn baby that's crying and you need to talk to customers, this is what it's gonna sound like with crying babies in the background. This is the blender test on the camera mic. Switching to the Poly headset, this is what it sounds like next to a roaring blender next to the Poly headset. What did you think of the microphone performance on this Poly Voyager 5200? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Curious to hear your feedback. For a headset that fits in the palm of your hand, I was quite impressed with the microphone performance. It blocked out the background noise very well. You could hear a little bit of the noises like the blender and the dogs, but those were extremely loud levels, but it performed at being able to have your voice be heard. And the quality of voice was good. It wasn't choppy or blending at all. It sounded uh, very natural and good considering it was still blocking out all those really loud noises. I talked to a lot of customers who do not want to wear a headset over the head. They don't want to mess up their hair. They don't want anything big and bulky. So the Poly Voyager 5200 you see is a great option to consider. Extremely lightweight at 0.7 ounces. You'll be able to wear it all day without any discomfort. There are a couple drawbacks to the earpiece style headsets. The music quality isn't going to be that great. And also that battery life is a little bit limited. And especially over time, you're going to have to recharge your headset more often. It does work on all the leading UC software applications like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, RingCentral, and all the other leading platforms as it's going to give you that remote call control so you can be even more productive as you're able to answer and end calls while away from the desk so you don't have to run back to your desk to try to answer calls. The MSRP price of this headset is $219. And before you go to Amazon to buy this product, you can buy on our website at competitive prices at the link in the description below. You can even use your Amazon account to check out on our website and it helps support our small family owned business. We also have bulk price discounts available and free demos. So if you are wanna try one for yourself, 
please reach out to our team, call us, email us, or live chat with us on our website. So that is the new Poly Voyager 5200 UC, a quick update to the Bluetooth adapter to create stability, better audio quality, and a little bit longer wireless range. Hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. If you wanna check out the Voyager Focus 2 UC, that's the active noise canceling headset that covers both ears, allows you to be more productive. Check that video out right here. Thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one.